Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 38th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on string functions and the first one that we're going to check out is the concat function, right? And it's used to concatenate strings, right? So a string firstly, you know that is a collection of uh, characters that you enclose within single quotes, right? So that's what a string is uh, in SQL. And uh, if suppose you have uh, a few strings and you want to put them together and make one string out of them, then you use the concat function for that. And the way you use it is, uh, let me get my cursor in here, type in select first and then the name of the function, which is concat, and then within parentheses, you put in all your string arguments separated by a comma, and uh, you know, you'll obviously have to enclose your strings within single quotes, right? So if you want to, um, you know, just test the traditional example, which is to display hello world on screen. You know, you put in hello first and then uh, put a comma and then within single quotes, you put in world and I'll also put an exclamation character at the end. I'll put a semicolon at the end. And uh, there you go. When I execute the query, I see in the results said hello world, right? So it's pretty simple. If you have uh, more than two strings, then, you know, you just have to use more comma symbols to uh, separate the string arguments, right? So if, if suppose uh, you had another one here, then you could put a comma and then put in a third string argument uh, within single quotes, right? Now, uh, with this function, you can also, uh, you know, pull in stuff from uh, tables that you have in your database, right? So for instance, uh, we worked with uh, the tutorial table. And in the tutorial table, we had uh, a field named uh, title and we also had a field uh, named uh, subject right so title was basically the name of the tutorial and subject was the name of the subject to which the tutorial belonged to right so if suppose you wanted to see uh, you know uh, the, the the tutorial name and then the string belongs to and then the name of the subject right so if you wanted to see something like that for all the tutorials in the table then you could use the concat function and the way you would do that is let me close this result set first and uh, I'll type in select and then concat which is the name of the function that we're going to use and then uh, I'll type in title here which is the name of the field from the tutorial table I'll put a comma and then within single quotes, I'll put a space first because I would want to see some space between the name of the tutorial and the string belongs to, right? I'll type in belongs to here. I'll put a space after two as well. And then uh, I'll put another comma and I'll put subject here because this is the name of the subject field from the tutorial table. And uh, let me display this as a, you know, tutorial, right? And on the next line, I'll type in from and the name of the table, which in this case is tutorial. And I'll put in a semicolon at the end. And when I press control enter, I see that I get, you know, a result set with all the rows from the tutorial table. So select query tutorial belongs to SQL, insert query belongs to SQL, arithmetic operators belongs to SQL, and then functions belongs to C, structures belongs to C. So, you know, basically it's done this, the concatenation operation for uh, all the rows in the table. Right, so that's it about the concat uh, function. It's very useful and uh, you know, whenever you want to take in first names and last names from your users uh, through a website and you want to display the names together as one string, then you know, basically you would have to use the concat function either in the backend, uh, you know, with your database or, you know, uh, th through your scripting language. You know, if you're scripting through PHP, then you know, you have concat equivalent in PHP too. And, uh, that's uh, pretty much about it. In the next tutorial, we'll check out another string function. And thank you so much for watching this one. And you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.